are there. Now, today, the Post Office Inquiry will turn its attention to Northern Ireland, where a former investigator who pursued sub-postmasters will be giving evidence. One of the people she questioned was Deirdre Connolly from County Tyrone, who was accused of stealing £15,000. And she says that it ruined her life. It was ruined, quite like, literally, by that scandal. Deirdre joins us now. Deirdre, thank you for coming in morning. this morning. Thank you. I'm glad in a way that it's today because it means things have moved on, but I'm sorry that it's this scenario that you all had to go through every time we have another sub-postmistress yeah. or master come on the show, our jaws drop at what you've been through. Did you just explain a little bit about what it was that you faced and, and what life has been like facing those accusations? It's been really hard. It happened to me 14 years ago now in June. From that day, just my life changed forever, my aunts and my families. I was accused of taking... £15,592, but I knew I'd done nothing wrong. So then I was taken to inquire, or interrogations, as I call them, and one of the people that's in the inquiry today, mm. Suzanne Winters, um, her and another investigator, he was flown in from London. Um, one of the questions they asked me was, did I take money for paramilitaries? And that's an awful thing to... It's disgusting for them to ask that question. To accuse In this day and age, yeah. And what impact did that have in that's, particular? That's, yeah. It's just, when you hear, hear that, you just think, what are, they, what are these people thinking? Where have they come from? Mm. Can you explain why that was such um, a febrile question to ask you at the time? Because there were people watching now that perhaps don't really remember mm. how difficult that period was. Well, in Northern Ireland, paramilitaries is a, it's just a scary word. And for them to be associated with paramilitaries just scares you and just for the life of your, your family and everybody else around you. So actually you feared for your safety because yeah, of that? Yeah, yeah. But at least I, I got through it. Mm. But what it did mean was, I mean, you were never prosecuted because you no. got the money together yeah. to be able to pay this. Yeah. But I got it from um, my uncle and my mother, my husband's mother, my aunt, just, we just scraped together the money to get it. How did you feel having to ask your elderly relatives uh, to try and fill this hole? How would you feel? Yeah. What a difficult it's situation awful, to be in. Awful to, ask, to be, have to ask for money. So it is. Um, but... And the trouble is, as well, because of what happened, people in the area viewed you differently, didn't yeah, they? Some Which did. meant that it some had a, a big impact yeah. on your life. Some did, yeah. You find out who your friends are and, it's, and when things like that happen. But thankfully, I've, I have good support of friends now and you just you have to go on with it. When did you first notice things were wrong with the software? There was always some... Always had to put money in, but I just put it down to Lotto or miscounting or something, but mm. nothing... Was there any moments when you suddenly thought, that's... that's that's there was there was one stage I pressed one icon for a first class stamp and on the basket come up fifty eight. Wow. Fifty eight. Fifty eight stamps. And like the basket had been cleared before that. And I thought, hmm, something wrong there. And uh, I phoned the helpline and they just says, No, you must have pressed five eight by one icon. And you knew you hadn't. No. Because it's interesting, isn't it, when we're all watching the drama and that was one of the things yeah. that came to light then. I think people got a, a better understanding of how these things happened yeah. because of watching that with the computer the drama, And I guess for you, yeah. did you think, well, that's what I had? I could relate to everything in that drama. The drama just summed it up. 20 years and four hours was amazing. It, it really did. And, and that, that helpline and the consistent thing that we've heard from all of you, which is you'd speak to them and, the, and, they, and you'd say, there's a problem with this software, there's a problem with the system, and they'd say, you're the only you're one. You're the only one. So there was a cover-up somewhere within it's that It's just help. like, no, it's an inquiry. I cannot recall. That's all you hear. It's just a cover-up. And how frustrating is that then for it's you? It's angry. It's angry. And like I just heard today that um, Suzanne Winters is only uh, appearing remotely. She didn't even come over to. Right. She's not going to. What be do you want to hear from her today, though? An apology. See, see if she does. Because for you, you ended up being bankrupt, bankrupt. because of it. You lost the business. Took epilepsy. At, at forty-three. And so I'll be on medication now for the rest of my life. So it affected your health as uh, well? Health. Oh, yeah, big time. I just couldn't function. Like, for years, I didn't come out of the house. If I did come out, if I seen anybody I knew from up around the area, I would have turned 
I walked the other way. Because you felt people were looking at you differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people were accusing you of being a thief? There was some. Not, not all. But some say. people were yeah, quite so. outspoken about that. There's no smoke without fire. Yeah, that's the sort of thing they'd say. Yeah. Have you had compensation? I've had um, interim payments, but um, for I'm in part of the 555. Compensation is just too slow. No, and just to explain that, so that's, you know, the, the group that the group with that Alan Bates, because you only realised, didn't you, yeah. that there were others involved? Yeah. It was my sister-in-law. Because of Alan Bates? Yes. It's my sister-in-law seen a piece in the paper in 2011, 12, I think. And uh, she says, give, give that man a ring. So I went home and I phoned Alan Bates and told him his story. And he... Uh, at the end of the conversation, he says, uh, you were the only one, Deirdre, weren't you? And I went, yeah. He says, we'll look after you from here on in. Aww. And he has, he's been brilliant. What an extraordinary man. Oh, amazing How man. How much of a difference then did it make to you knowing that you weren't alone? I cried because I said to Darius, I says, that there's other people. Yeah. Uh, did you, what does justice look like for you now? Yes, you know, we, we know that, that that system has been proved. There is compensation mm. coming and that hopefully it will come soon not, than Not soon enough. Not soon enough. But what does justice look like for you now? Justice for me would be all convictions overturned. Uh, the Prime Minister said that uh, there was a law coming into force, mm -hmm. but he didn't mention Northern Ireland. That has to come into force to get that of people in Northern Ireland because they seem to be forgotten about. Yeah. So that's why I've sort of tried to get people and come forward in Northern Ireland to get their names cleared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for me, personally, I would like to wake up in the morning and not think of post office. Because is it the first thing you think first about? First thing you think about. First thing and last thing at night. And what about the people that were responsible? Because there has been a cover-up somewhere. Oh, uh, there's a cover-up from the very top. And what, very would you top. See, what would you like to see happen with them? They have to be made accountable. Somebody has to answer for what they've done to us. Even for... Uh, as Alan Bates says, financial redress. They were so quick at looking for the money of us. Mm. Like, you had to pay that in weeks, whereas now it's taken months. My claim has been is in now since before Christmas. So the deadline for mine is 40 days, working days, is the 21st of February. So we'll see then. Will that money help bring closure for you, do you think? You know, how, how can it make up for uh, it all it of those it years? It won't make up for all those years, but it'll help, it'll help my children. Like, we weren't able to help them deposit on a house, their first house, deposit in a, or help them buy a car. You know, their life was totally upside down. Yeah, as was yours. Uh, well, look, hopefully in the next few months, and we'll see, won't we? Do stay in we'll touch see. with us with regards to whether that, mm. that claim is settled by... Uh, sort of 21st of February. 21st of February <laughs> as well. Did you thank you for coming in and sharing your story. All of you are so incredibly brave and courageous mm. to be willing to come here Thanks and so talk much. through what you've been through. Opening up your lives over the years. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.